Hey everyone, so I recently picked up this new foundation. I've heard great things about it, so I wanted to try it out for myself. I thought I'd do a first impression so you guys could see what I thought. And the foundation I'm talking about is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. How cute is this box, my goodness. I'm just going to read a bit about it. It says it's oil-free, undetectable, medium to full coverage foundation. Um, it's got coconut water in it to delicately, delicately replenish skin's moisture levels. Alpine rose to brighten skin's appearance and promote elasticity. And hyaluronic acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. So it's got lots of great claims on it. It's 100% of people said this foundation uh, blurred their imperfections. So. I'm really excited about it. Like I said, I've heard good things. I'll show you what the bottle looks like. That's what it looks like there. It's a cute glass jar with the gold here and the black lid. And then when you take the lid off, it comes with a pump like that. This foundation retails for $39 US or 55 Canadian, which is crazy. Our dollar is not doing well right now. Oh uh, yeah, so it's a pricier, um, foundation so I'm curious to see how it holds up this the color I got is light beige there was I want to say at least 12 colors maybe 16 colors there's a lot of colors to choose from and I bought it online from sephora.com so it was kind of hard to, to gauge what color I would be but, but we'll see I swatched a bit on my hand I don't think it's too too bad so yeah I'm just going to use my beauty blender to apply it. I was debating between a brush and a beauty blender, but I think I want to go with the beauty blender. So I dampen this, and I think I'm going to start with just one, one pump. See how well that holds up. So that's what the consistency looks like. It's, uh, it's on the thicker side, but it is running down my hand a little bit, so it's not extremely thick. Alright, and I don't have any primer on because I don't typically wear primer unless it's like a special occasion. So we'll see how it holds up without the primer. Well, it's definitely blending right in with my skin, like seeping right into my skin, which is awesome. I'm trying to look at color. I think I did pretty good with color match see when it's done. Just starting with a really light layer. Wow. That's like pretty much dried already. I don't know if you can see up close, but it doesn't really look like there's anything on my skin. That is very interesting. At this point I would say this looks like a pretty solid medium coverage, but I barely put I barely put any on my beauty blender. I haven't done my forehead yet, so that's what my forehead looks like. And there's my cheek. So far that looks really nice. It definitely just kind of blurred everything and evened everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. Alright, so I've used up the full pump. And that looks really even. Color match isn't bad either. When I back up, it's better. It's a little bit paler than me right now, but I think once I add bronzer, it'll work out really good. I just put another extra, like, half pump. So I've gone through a pump, but I went through about a, another half pump just to um, see how it builds up. I'm going to add it in areas that need a little bit more coverage on my nose, around my nose, my chin. Yep. It just blends right on top. This stuff dries fast. It's like dry. I just did my nose. It's pretty much dry. Holy cow. But it's not like it dried and then I couldn't add more on, you know? It didn't get weird. Alright, so that was about a pump and a half. and. First impressions, I'm really, really impressed. It just evened everything out, but it looks like my skin. I'm in close so you can see. It's totally dry. And it just blended right in. You can't really see it on top of my pores or anything. It just looks like my skin. So I would say the finish is like 
mm, like a natural finish. It's not matte by any means, but I wouldn't call it dewy either. I do tend to get oily, so I'm going to put some powder on it to set it. I think I'll just finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll show you after. All right, so here's what it looks like with the rest of my makeup on. Everything went on beautifully. I just did blush and bronzer and some powder. I chose not to do highlight because I wanted you guys to see what it looked like in its natural state without extra glow. It's very skin-like. It doesn't feel like anything. It's dried right down. Uh, like I said, just a bit of powder on top and everything went on beautifully. The coverage is fantastic and the color match even. I'm backing up here is pretty bang on so I'm really really happy with it um, it hasn't accentuated my pores at all and I have pretty big pores so yeah I'm curious to see how it holds up throughout the day um, it doesn't claim to be long wearing so I figure about an eight hour window is a good chunk of time to test it for it is currently 9 41 so I will check back in and show you what it looks like in eight hours all right so it is now 6 17 it's been almost nine hours and I have put this foundation to the test uh, running around with my children I took them to the park today it was very hot out and sunny I just took my um, five-year-old to get her kindergarten shots and that's a whole nother story that was stressful and eventful so this foundation has been through a lot um, coming up close as far as coverage it didn't break apart anywhere like usually it will break apart around my nose in this region and um, it's pretty consistent throughout so that's definitely a win some areas of issue my chin I think I rubbed that with my hands sunglass marks here do you guys get that that drives me crazy do you have any solutions for that every time I put on sunglasses it takes off my foundation so that's annoying and then the number one big thing that I notice is obviously the mega glow slash shine I have on um, I decided not to powder my face all day because I wanted to see how it, well it held up after the initial use, like I powdered it right after I did it, um, but I definitely need it. So it's definitely a bit shiny. I think it applied beautifully. It wore great. It doesn't feel like anything. So those are all pros. It's um, a bit shiny and making me look kind of oily. I think this probably started around maybe the six hour mark and we're at the nine hour mark now, but it hasn't broken down. So I think a lot of people will like this foundation for all of those reasons. If you're an oilier skin tone, um, this may not be for you. This isn't horrible. Like some foundations get crazy oily on me. I'm just, um, I have seen better also. So kind of hit or miss on that one. But other than that, I think it's beautiful. So if you have any questions, let me know. And thank you for watching. Bye.